India's third lunar mission called Chandrayaan-3 made India the first country to successfully land near the moon's south pole, a region that has piqued the interests of scientists due to its unique characteristics. Scientists think that the region near moon's south pole is home to ancient pockets of ice water that could be useful in future crewed missions and even settlements on Earth's only natural satellite. India's previous attempt to land on the south pole of the moon failed in 2019. Chandrayaan-3 is a follow-up to this mission. This was India's third lunar mission. Chandrayaan-3 launched at 2.35 p.m. Indian Standard Time on 14 July 2023 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh. The spacecraft was launched by the launch vehicle Mark III, LVM-3, and carries a lander and a rover. ISRO's chairman, Sridhara P. Somanath, says that instead of a success-based design, they opted for a failure-based design for Chandrayaan-3. It is carefully designed to ensure a successful landing even in the event of certain components failing. Various scenarios, such as sensor failure, engine failure, algorithm failure, and calculation failure were considered and measures were developed to address each of them. The Chandrayaan-3 landed on the lunar surface on 23rd August at 6.04 p.m. Indian Standard Time. The mission cemented India as an elite space nation and could unlock secrets about the moon. Imprinting India Flag and ISRO Emblem Chandrayaan-3's rover Pragyan will leave the impression of India's national flag and Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, logo on the lunar soil, Regolith. This will make India the only country to have its mark on the moon's south pole where no other country has ventured till now. The low cost of Chandrayaan-3 Chandrayaan-3 mission's entire cost is roughly 650 rupees, 75 million dollars, crore. For perspective, the budget of the film Adipurush was 700 crore rupees while the 2009 Hollywood film Avtar's budget was around 1,970 crore rupees. First country to probe South Pole As Russia's recent Luna 25 mission failed to soft land, now, Chandrayaan-3 achieved a successful soft landing on the lunar surface. India has become first country to probe the moon's south pole and the fourth country to land on the moon after the United States, the former Soviet Union, and China, building on data from Chandrayaan-1. India's first lunar mission, Chandrayaan-1 found frozen water deposits on the moon's darkest and coldest regions in 2009. The follow-up mission, Chandrayaan-2 was expected to probe the same but failed to achieve a soft landing. Chandrayaan-3 is built to rectify the mistakes of its predecessor and will add more knowledge about the moon's south pole and the scope of water presence. Chandrayaan-3's rover and lander The Chandrayaan-3 consists of a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan. The lander is named after Vikram Sarabhai, who is considered the father of India's space program and the founder of Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. The rover accompanying the Chandrayaan-3 mission is named Pragyan. This name is derived from the Sanskrit word which means wisdom. The craft collectively weighs 3,900 kilograms. The propulsion module weighs 2,148 kilograms and the lander and the rover weigh 1,752 kilograms. This total weight is close to the maximum capacity of the GSLV MK3, which is India's strongest rocket. The rover will be released from Vikram using a ram. This six-wheeled rover is powered by solar energy and carries two spectrometers to study the composition of the moon's surface. It will move around the landing area for about 14 Earth days, which is roughly equivalent to one lunar day of sunlight. Vikram lander is equipped with four scientific instruments as well. The first instrument is a seismometer designed to detect moonquakes, 
while the second one studies how heat moves through the lunar surface. The third aims to understand the plasma environment around the moon. And the fourth is a retroreflector to help understand the gravitational interaction between the moon and the planet. The companies that have contributed to the Chandrayaan-3 mission are Larsen and Tobro, l and Bale, MTR Technologies, Mishra Dhatu Nigam LTD, Centum Electronics, Hindustan Aeronautics LTD, Hal, Valchandandar Industries, Paras Defense and Space Technologies, Linde India, and Godrej Aerospace.